Your Excellency, the Governor, please. Mweshimiwa Governor, tafadhali. The mighty prophet of the Lord. Manabi waku zaidi wa bwana. Archbishops and all the bishops, pastors and brethren. Bwana asifiwe. Maaskofu waku wachungaji na wapendo wote. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Ilo sunote iso. Bwana yesu asifiwe. I want to take this opportunity first to thank God. Ningependa chukua furusa hii kwanza kumshukuru mungu. Who has given me another opportunity to stand before you? Ambaya menipatia fursa nyingine tena kusimama melezenu. Praise his name. Kulisifu jina lake. We wanted to be here earlier than we arrive. Tulipenda sana kuwa pa mapema kuliko vile tulifika. Because we wanted to be part of the afternoon session, but it wasn't possible because the traffic was very heavy. We took four hours from Nairobi. Tulitaka kuwa hapa kabisa wakati wa ile awamu ya mchana lakini haikuwezekana kwa sababu ya msongamano wa magari katika barabara. But all the same we want to thank God that we are here. Lakini hata hivyo tumshukuru Mungu kwamba tuko hapa. We were here last year. Tulikuwa hapa mwaka uliopita and the main reason why I am here today sababu kubwa kabisa ni kwa nini niko hapa leo is to make a very special announcement ni kuleta tangazo ambalo ni maalumu kabisa that the lord has done it kwamba bwana ameitenda the word of the lord that came from the mouth of the prophet neno la year last year neno la ke bwana ambalo lilitoka kwa kinywa cha manabii wa kuu zaidi wa bwana nilipokuwa hapa mwaka jana which is still fresh in my mind and in my heart ambalo lingali hai kabisa katika moyo wangu na mawazo yangu was lilikuwa my kwamba, son lilikuwa hivi mwanangu the lord has done it bwana ameitenda i remember he said that the lord will honor you publicly nilikumbuka wazi kwamba alisema Bwana atakuheshimu hadharani and for sure he has done it. Hakika ya kweli ametenda hivyo. It wasn't very easy. Haikukuwa rahisi sana but I kept that word and believed it. Lakini nilihifadhi neno hilo na nikaliamini. In the book of 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 katika kitabu cha Wathesalonike wa kwanza mlango wa 5 starting from verses 19 to 20 kuanzia mstari wa 19 hadi 20 19 is telling us that we be careful so that we don't quench the spirit 19 inasema kwamba tuwe waangalifu tusije tukam tukazimishe roho and in verses 20 it says don't despise prophecy na katika mstari wa 20 anasema kwamba msidharao unabii. And I thank God that I didn't despise that. Na nashukuru Mungu kwa bisa kwa sababu si kudharao hiyo. For those of us who come from bed, I know a lot of things were said. Kwa wale ambao wanatoka sehemu zile najua kwamba mnaelewa mambo mengi ilisemwa. There were so many stories in the social media. Kulikuwa na maadithi nyingi sana katika mitandao ya kijamii. But one thing that I knew, lakini kitu moja nalijua, is that the Lord God had spoken. Ni kwamba Bwana Mungu alikuwa amenena. And today, na leo hii Today leo I'm standing before you as a living testimony. Ninasimama mbele yenu nikiwa ushuhuda ulio hai. Our God is faithful. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu and he is always behind his word to make it come to accomplishment. Na yeye kila wakati analifuatilia neno lake ili alitimize. So we thank God and part of celebration even as we start this year is to thank God for 
making his word come to pass. Kwa mshukuru Mungu sana na sehemu ya sherehe ya mwaka huu tunapoanza ni kushukuru kwamba tumshukuru Mungu neno lako aliyake alilifanya likatimia. And Professor Hilary Barchok is the governor of Bombay as by the word of God. Naye Professor Hilary Barchok ndiye governor wa Bombay kwa neno lake bwana. And I thank God. Nami namshukuru Mungu. We have all the reason to celebrate. Tuna kila sababu ya kusherekea. And I want to make a special request. Ningependa kuleta ombi maalum. My Lord, mabwana wangu, please come to Bomet. Tafadhali njo Bomet. It will be an honor for us. Itakuwa heshima kwetu to have a share in one of the Sunday services. Kuwa na ibada moja wapo ya ibada za Jumapili kule Bomet. I think because of what the Lord has done to me and to the people of Bomet, we have all the reasons to join us in celebration when you join us for a Sunday service in Bomet. Nafikiri kwa sababu ya kile Bwana amemtendea na watu wa Bomet, tuna kila sababu. My son, your excellency, professor Mwanangu Wow, wow, wow. This is very powerful, right? Mwanangu mheshimiwa professor, dunia ngumu sana. I tell you. Na kuambia, I'm full of joy that the words of the Lord have been fulfilled. Nimejawa na neno la Mungu limetimizwa. My coming is too complicated as you can see. Na kuja kwangu kuna utatizo. When I come the whole, I don't know how many million of Kenyans. Ninapokuja sijui kama milioni mbili ya Kenya. Right? Tutafanya hii. We purpose to do this. Tutakusudia Now that you've come all the way. So invite me here. Sasa kwa kwa umetoka mbali sana kuja kunikaribisha hapa. Deputy Archbishop Wright Reverend Ngerechi. Naibu wa Skofu Mku Wright Reverend Ngerechi. It looks like we may have to do this. Just to honor him. His excellency. Wow, 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 wow. But when I come it's too complicated these days. You will have millions of people flowing in one direction. I think we can manage. I would, we, can we manage? We, because, because these days when we do a meeting, it has to be more than 110 acres. So we can manage. It's possible. Give him a microphone. It is possible. Let's decide it right here because he has done an honorable thing. He has come back. It's possible, my lords. It's possible. Very possible, my lords. It's possible. Yes, my lords. Okay, that is it. We are headed to Bomet one day soon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is my son. How would I say no? Wow. The movement is so big normally. Normally it's so big. It's millions of people moving in one direction. Ay, ay, ay. So we will manage. Ay, ay. We will manage. Just keep the microphone with you. We will manage. We will manage my lords. In Bomet. It is possible my lords. What? Then we are going to agree on the date. Why are you celebrating? Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. thought I was going to rest a bit. <laughs> you saw today I cut the salmon halfway. I thought I would rest a bit because Tanzania is near. I think in the next few weeks. And then Ivory Coast. Tanzania to end up Ivory Coast. It seems Bomet is here again. I am coming to Bomet. It is established. I have honored your invitation. Because you are my son. But that will be a big thing. No, you have to organize it very well because it's a millions of people move in one direction. Thank you, my lords. With the governor in charge, my lords, all things will be possible. Thank you, thank you. That, that is it. Asante, do you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That will be an honor to me 
and to the entire leadership of Med, of Med, and the people of Med. So we lay us with uh, Bishop Gereji to organize. Asante that sana. will be our, our function because we want to honor God. Asante sana itakuwa heshima kwangu na watu wa Bomet tutafanya kazi kabisa na naibu askofu Mkugerechi ili kumshukuru Mungu. Thank you so much church. As and because I don't want to talk a lot na kwa sababu sai kuongea sana I know the mighty prophet of the Lord is tired. Najua kwamba manabii wakuu zaidi wa Bwana wamechoka but when he comes to Bomet I think we'll have a lot to say. Lakini najua kwamba atakapokuja Bombe tutakuwa na wakati mrefu wa kunena. I want to thank God. Hata hivyo nataka kumshukuru Mungu really really to appreciate him. Kabisa kabisa kumshukuru. In the book of First Corinthians chapter katika, 14 verses 3 katika kitabu cha Wakorinto wa kwanza mlango wa 14 mstari wa 3 prophecy is supposed to edify exhort and comfort. And I want to tell you the mighty prophet of the Lord when you spoke here that day nataka nikwambie manabii wako zaidi wa Bwana uliponena hapa ile siku I went with a lot of comfort nilienda kama nimefarijika irrespective of what the opinion polls were saying kando na vile zile opinion polls zilikuwa zinasema irrespective of what of what the people were saying in fact the first time I met with my colleagues uh, in the council of governors kando na yale watu walikuwa nasema one of them loved and told me so you are here mmoja wao alicheka akasema kumbe sasa uko hapa yes i am here and he told wewe ni mtu wa mungu akaniambia kumbe uko hapa kisha akasema wewe ni mtu wa mungu i really thank god na mshukuru mungu sana and that is why i have sent this very special invitation to you to visit us in Bomet. Ndiposa nimetuma hii mwaliko maalum kabisa kwako ili ukatembelee watu wa Bomet. Thank you for accepting. Asante sana kwa kukubali. Otherwise I want to wish you well everybody. Na sivyo ningependa kuwatakia mema kila mtu. All those who travel outside this country. Wale wote mlitoka nje ya this hii. special special meeting as you go back to your respective countries. I want to send you with my greetings, the greetings of Bomet and the greetings of the Republic of Kenya because I'm a government official. Kwa kuja katika mkutano huu maalumu na watumeni na salamu za watu wa Bomet na za watu wa serikali ya Kenya kwa sababu mimi ni kiongozi katika taifa la Kenya. We are praying for your respective countries. Tunaombea mataifa yenu and we want to thank God because of the prophet of the Lord. Tunataka kushukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya manabii wako wa Mungu. In December I think I watched a KTN documentary late in the evening and I saw some of the prophecies about Peru, about Italy, about um, 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 Taiwan that have come to pass. December nilitazama kile kipindi katika KTN home na nikaona baadhi ya zile unabii ambazo zilitolewa na kutimia kule Peru, kule Taiwan, ambazo zitabiriwa na kuweza kutimia. And that is why I want to emphasize